I moved into an old, creaky house at the edge of town, seeking solace in its isolation. The walls whispered secrets, echoing with stories of the past. Late at night, their murmurs would grow louder, filling the rooms with an eerie presence. One moonless night, as I lay in bed, I heard a child's laughter. It seemed to come from the walls themselves, a phantom echo of youthful innocence. My heart raced, for I knew I was alone. I ventured into the dimly lit hallway, tracing my hand along the peeling wallpaper. The whispers grew more distinct, forming fragmented sentences that chilled me to the bone. Help me, trapped, let us out. A cold draft swirled, carrying with it the scent of decay. I followed the sound, fingers trembling on the doorknob. The door groaned open, revealing a hidden chamber, dust covered and forgotten. There, in the corner, stood a child, eyes hollow and vacant. He looked at me, a desperate plea in his gaze. His voice was a mere breath, barely audible. They won't let us go? I stumbled back, realizing I was not alone. Shadows danced on the periphery, figures of the long-forgotten souls trapped within these walls their faces contorted in silent agony. I fled, but the whispers pursued me, echoing in my mind. Every night, they grew louder, more insistent. I couldn't escape them. I was bound to this house, as were they. As days turned to weeks, my sanity unraveled. I researched the history of the house, hoping to find a way to release these tormented souls. I learned of a tragedy that had befallen the previous occupants, a family lost to a fire that had consumed the very walls that now entombed their spirits. Armed with this knowledge, I performed a ritual, hoping to set them free. The air grew thick with anticipation, and for a moment, I felt a surge of hope. But then, the whispers turned frantic, mingling with anguished cries. I watched in horror as the walls seemed to pulse, as if breathing. The house rejected my attempts, enraged by my interference. The darkness consumed me, pulling me into its suffocating embrace. Now, I am one with the whispers, a silent wail in the depths of this cursed house. And I warn you, whoever reads this, stay away from that forsaken place. For once you hear the whispers in the walls, you are forever bound to them.